Hello everybody, welcome back to another Cricket Speedrunning episode, and today, this is episode 2, but uh, we're not actually in the game for this episode, we're actually going to be showing you guys how to get inside the Discord, and uh, show you guys the resources you can get to start your actual speedrunning journey, if you are going to consider it. So without further ado, we're going to go inside the verification system, basically, uh, when you go inside here, you're verifying yourself to be an actual human, so you can get into all the uh, text channels. And uh, we're actually not going to be focusing on any of this other than the rules section, which probably will be uh, something you guys will have to read before uh, going inside the speedrunning channel. So once you click the verification button, yeah, as you can already see, I'm already verified, so it doesn't really count for me. Uh, you will uh, have to go inside the rules section, and I'll basically show you. I'm not going to go really in deep into it, uh, but I'll just say keep it a safe environment, which is pretty obvious. You know, you want to keep a safe environment for anybody in there you know just have a good time and keep it positive so no negativity no racist jokes but um one rule i will want to get into before you know actually getting into all the good stuff and how to submit runs and stuff is uh please do not complain about a run being disabled because it was disabled for a reason but in the case of any inconvenience i pretty much just added at the end if there was any notice that your run was unfairly declined please contact mods immediately and basically the reason why i added this is because there is a lot of you know situations where it may not look like uh what we intended it to look like so what we view is different from what they view so we can get like a better you know search of it basically it's just just you know if an if situation so we just added that just because now that we're done with the rules section, there actually isn't a lot to show in this Discord because a lot of this actually is admittedly outdated, like for the resources, for example. This is from, what, July 14th, 2023? That's like almost two years old, so I can't really show a lot of this except for the speedrun.com link, which is always going to be the same because speedrun.com. But, uh, you know, I can't show the how to submit because, you know, spoilers, we're going to show you that uh, in just a little bit. But what I will get into is the uh, rules about runs. Which is very important to a lot of people because, you know, a lot of people get their runs denied and will not understand why. So, for this, uh, when submitting a time, go to spinner.com, make an account, and submit your time. Basically, this, we'll get into that soon. But when it comes to the requirements for submitting, there actually is a complete list you guys have to fill up before you submit your run. So, this is kind of like the before you do stuff and actually submit it. So, uh, a full recording of the runtime, the uh, spawning start to the finish box. Basically, uh, once you put your submit time, you have to have a full recording of the entire run, and it's uh, basically what you think is your run, and that's just you know the entire run in, in one video. So uh, after that, your entire screen must be visible with the chat box clearly showing messages and your finishing time. So you have to have a visible finishing time uh, shown to prove it as well as um, a fully entire screen must be visible. So basically, it doesn't really matter what uh, ratio you have, you can have 1920 by 1080, 1280 by 720, basically anything just as long as it's a full um, uh, game screen. Going into video quality, it must be 720p plus 30fps, uh, which actually is a problem for a lot of people because a lot of people use Chromebooks, which doesn't necessarily display either uh the the quality or the fps which is kind of a problem for a lot of people in this uh, discord but basically you have to have that uh for the minimum requirements obviously you make exceptions if you know it's clearly it's clearly legit and just one part lags out sort of but just uh good to know that obviously no cuts in the video must be raw recording of the complete run uh you can cut it out to have just the full run in one in like one like 20 30 40 second video so you can cut out the rest uh ju just have the completed run not cut out like nothing like in the middle of the run cut out just the full uh run as well as gravity speed jump must all remain on the one sitting if the run is down through the custom lobby as well as a custom lobby it can obviously be hosted on custom lobby but it also needs to have the uh, one sitting on each one now it's actually kind of hard to tell nowadays because you know Obviously, we can't always make sure that each one is on one, but uh, just there for, you know, clearance. So when you're submitting, there actually is two things, except for these. These are just for memories because these are the archives of uh, the old sliding and the old no sliding. Basically, mechanics and stuff got changed around with the game, so these are just for the memories. These are filled to the brim with uh, world records from at least two years of work. 
so we just keep them because now sliding and no sliding are actually two of the essential things that um you know, depending on what run you do so with the sliding it's if any like bunny hopping is done in a single run then it counts as a sliding but if there's no bunny hopping then it's a no sliding pretty simple right you got it so as soon as you uh, know what you're doing you want to go to leaderboards and you can see that there is a submit run i don't know why it's here but i guess it's just to show all this right here but once you go to the submit run you'll see a full categorization of everything you need to you know show uh, the time and stuff uh, now once you go over here don't click full game this is for testing i might even get rid of this at some point but you know just 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 in case you don't know don't look at full game we will not uh, accept it but after that, you can go to um, the levels and you can pick which level you did your uh, run on, and that's pretty simple. With the category, don't do these two, we will not submit them. You just do either sliding or no sliding. One player, yourself, I don't think you should be able to do anything for anybody else, but uh, in the game time, with this, um, it's actually pretty hard because some people actually don't know how to do this. With minutes, a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people would just be doing hour runs, but. Uh, if so, one hour, which is just one, or minutes, if, let's just, let's just make up a random time, saying maybe two minutes or so, and then a random uh, seconds, which could be um, anything you want, like 37. So one hour, two minutes, and 37 seconds. Now let's go to milliseconds, this can actually be very difficult, uh, because with milliseconds, you have to add two numbers, to show your milliseconds but if it is in the um the the ones in the in the single digit milliseconds you have to go zero one zero just add the triple zero i don't know why it does this necessarily maybe to show the full entirety of milliseconds but in reality it doesn't matter because i don't think people are going to be adding one millisecond 20 seconds it just doesn't make sense to me the time i don't know if this matters but it's just the time of the game like in the in the corner which is not required by the way you don't really need to do it i'd actually recommend not doing it it's a waste of time but uh the video url basically showing the url of the video you can use anything you can use metal uh let's see let's do metal obs youtube um twitch is another one i don't there, there's a lot of uh, streaming things anything that shows the url video in its fullest is completely valid just as long as it shows the video with this you can show the date and it doesn't have to be right at in the state you can show it on anything if it's done on a different day as well as showing your region and we actually do like seeing where people come from it's a nice way to like branch out and stuff so and to see what platform you have uh in the pc android oh, ios macintosh links chromebook description could be anything it wants this doesn't require it either and uh the splits.io is absolutely not required it actually is not a thing at all until maybe a future update to our page i don't know but you know after that you would want to submit your run which i'm not going to submit because they have nothing on here uh once you have all this you will have uh, your um first place second place third place up here and your name will be on here and then you have officially uh submit your own run